Aztec Cup quarterfinals. Chile kicking off with Kirby. 1 2 and Champs 3. Blimey O'Reilly is all I can say. I nearly swore, but I try to keep it PG. There go those zaps in over that CC. And the Royal Champ coming in with the Ice Golem. The Royal Champ comes in at 7. The Ice Golem steps in at 5.30. Two Headhunters just coming in as that Ice Golem doesn't quite capture the um, Royal Champ in there. But it does get a few shots off. Those Headhunters unfortunately not getting that Royal Champ down. The CC is pulled. The Lava Hound comes out. And we are looking at a Lalo here guys. I think we were hoping to get the Royal Champ down with those headhunters there. Incepts the King with another Ice Golem in front of him at 7.30. Queen steps in at 9.30. A Wiz just working that 9 o'clock corner clear for her. The Lava Hound is chasing that Ice Golem down. There goes the free spell. The King takes that storage down. The Lava Hound is just an annoyance here to the King. The Queen steps up to get that Tesla. She's now tackling that Wiz Tower. Up springs that second Tesla. She'll put that will pull her towards the town hall. King's ability is fired. Those two giant bombs in front of that town hall. And now the Queen locks on to the Lava Hound. But that CC uh, the town hall does go down. The Lava Hound is popped. And the Queen's going to check in to start working on those Lava Pups. And in comes the Lalo with the Stone Slammer between 4 and 3 o'clock. Queen does clear those Pups, but she's going to go down to those Expos in the core. There's a Haste spell taking those Loons towards the Eagle. That Multi Inferno is a big target at the top at 2 o'clock here. There goes the Warden ability. The Stone Slammer moves on over the top of that Wiz Tower. Eagle does go down now. There's the tornado trap right in the core around that sweeper. And it is pulling all those loons in there. So we've only really got the stone slammer left here and clean up minions. How far can this stone slammer get? I think that scatter shot is going to eat into it. And it does. Oh, look at those dropped, almost swagged hay spells in annoyance there, I think. Uh, we're not happy with that one, I, I suspect. Number three, Kirby. Nice try. 78% two star. Is an opener for Chile. So 32 minutes will be the time of the next one. But we did swag two haste there. Do you think that was done in anger or was that a slip of the fingers? I'm not sure. What does anyone else think to that one? I, yeah, I, I suppose I shouldn't get a hat like that stream in the Vertex Cup, but I kind of feel the same way, can't really. I think I'd be very happy. <laughs> um, yeah, but you kind of get the frustration. They build up so much for an attack. But it could be a slip, couldn't it? We could be assuming it was frustration. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I can only echo that statement, really. That's all I can say on the matter there is, uh, yeah, have a commitment. And, yeah, I, I guess what's done is done. But, like I say, we're assuming perhaps it was a frustration. Um, perhaps it wasn't. Perhaps it was a slip of the pad. And caught uh, his two fingers as he's maybe trying to zoom in. I don't know. Easy done if you've got the spells locked. That was the first lesson I learnt when I switched to zap, was make sure you don't have the zaps locked and loaded before you zoom in on your target. Because you'll spread them all around the base otherwise. Anyway, we are 30 seconds away from Team USA, or I would. I would spread them all around the base, I'm sure. 20 seconds. Who's it going to be? Now, I've got a sneaky suspicion. Nick normally likes to attack early on let's see there you go he's always first no change here nick op nick coming in with mass witches and you almost could have predicted that a meta as well nick very known for his lalo too but he does like the mass witches nowadays and he can pretty much put his hand to any attack really they're talking that there's there's a campaign called nerf nick and look at these scatters going down here 
with those well spread um, zaps and quakes both scatter shots going down and in come the ice golem spread right across from 9 to 12 o'clock with the siege barracks in at 9 and all the witches in behind those ice golems in comes that super wall break there right in front of the town hall the queen and the uh, the warden are in there too behind all those witches we've still got the king ability is fired into that channel in front of that single inferno at two o'clock we've still got the royal, uh, royal champ to make an appearance on the field here there goes the warden ability hogs coming out of the siege barrack the queen locks onto the town hall that will go down here now I'm going to pick up that expo too so it's about a speed race here to how quick we can get to this eagle before it starts raining hell on these skellies queen is going to step up to take the sweeper and this dark elixir there's a long way to get to this um eagle here the queen is now beating on the wall she will get there with the help of the witches and the rest of the witches are moving round south into the six o'clock compartment here with the help of the warden backing them up they are facing the enemy royal champion but those skellies are just overwhelming the queen gets to the eagle can we steer clear of that single inferno and as i say that that inferno does lock on to the queen there although the tornado trap pulls her out of range it does force her ability she now steps back in range and she's in trouble she's going to go down to that single inferno so we're left with the warden and the witches stuck in the middle and the rest of the witches moving round south moving up to this tesla farm at four o'clock they have broken out now or the warden's broken out and some of the witches there's still one witch trying to break out we've got 42 seconds left here there's only 12 percent left of this base there's still a lot of witches on the field what do we think guys what do we think with this one got that single inferno and all those skellies to distract it have we got time to finish this one off 24 seconds seven percent to go in comes the minions as that archer tower gets distracted by these skellies we're almost there we got 97 percent we got three percent there's an opening in the wall here the, the skellies are going to overwhelm that single inferno and that's the last thing that's going to go down and that is an opening three star it is going to be close as count says but we make it there lock your ears that is a very nice triple from nick to start us off for team usa dang says count dang very nice stuff there nick almost could have predicted those mass switches he's pretty much been favoring them a lot lately and showing us how to do it and I use mass switches in my war before this one it didn't go like that perhaps I need to switch my meta go back to the ice golems here we go then Billy and we've got canoed Lux oh sorry I keep doing that to you count don't I I did say block your ears but I don't give you enough time do I to do anything about it sorry I will lower that volume next time I do it if this is a triple I'll um, lower the volume. Yes, it was down to the last second there, Rene. Or Rene, I hope I pronounced that right. I hope I haven't slaughtered your name. And what have we got here? We've got a Lalo, Queen Charge Lalo coming in, guys, from Cano Lux from Chile. Queen's got a rage over her. She's working at 11 o'clock. Got the King stepping in at 12 o'clock there. Super Wall Break comes up, opening that compartment nicely, the other side of the town hall single inferno has been locked on to the queen king steps into that channel we are going to have to freeze it and we do single inferno is going to go down here but the royal champ has distracted the king the queen takes the town hall down though she's going to lock onto that scatter shot and she does in comes a headhunter now behind the queen and with that rage it rages through but doesn't get through to that queen it was slightly early on that headhunter slightly unlucky there from canad lux the second rage spell comes over the queen she's going to get the eagle here so good value there and just as she checks back that other wall breaker comes in and he has moved well that has just exploded before it got to a wall unfortunately there so the queen's locked onto wall bashing stone slammer comes in with the loons and lava hound from 10 o'clock to nine o'clock 
8.30 sees the second hand coming in and the rest of the loons behind. All working this 9 o'clock corner here. Enemy queen in there. There goes the warden ability. And our queen has cleared the 3 o'clock compartment, but she's very low on health. That scatter shot is now ripping into her healers. As this Lalo pushes south now, the dragon from the stone slammer did take out the enemy queen. There's the free spell over the scatter shot. There's the haste spell over the whiz tower. The loon's now moving towards that scatter shot. And that inferno is going to go down too. And this is starting to look strong with the queen almost back at full health. We've only got the Tesla farm at the back to beat. 49 seconds plenty of pups clearing up down at six o'clock what do we think guys and i'm glad i pronounced it right renee thank you uh this is gonna be oh he's popped that lava pup hound pup thingy pup hounds whatever you call them their poison spells saved right to the last almost could have swat the poison spell CC, the last thing to go down here, but Cano Lux from Chile. Hound, block your ears. Boom. That is a triple. I did turn the volume down a bit. So, Chile coming in with that triple. Five, three. They are one attack ahead. We have a double and a triple from Chile. Ahead 15.6 on destruction. But USA still to come in with their second attack. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be, guys? It's either going to be Agent 33, JD9, Messi, or Lex. Lexnos. Lex normally likes to go latter. So perhaps he's coming towards the end. New tactic to weaken the walls of the base says count. But I didn't I missed your opening there. Oi mate Rene. Oi, how's it going? I'm doing good. How are you doing, buddy? Friday night here. It's late Friday night. Almost midnight here. Yeah, I think he's has got that anchor position um sewn up. So probably is going to finish last. Oh, what do we say? What do we think Lex is going to come in with then, guys? Is he going to come in with a Queen Charge Lalo? Or is he going to put us both? I haven't, Count. Midnight. I think straight after this war, I might sneak a brewski in. And I might do a little bit of Among Us. Something like that. Here we go. We've got Messi for Team USA coming in against number five, Chile. Pablo, and we've got a hybrid, and we've got a blimp bomb coming in with those early loons either side. There goes the blimp bomb. The Yetis just make it over the wall, really, into that single inferno compartment there at two o'clock. Can we get that single inferno down? No, the headhunter. Oh, I think we are going to just get that single inferno down. All those headhunters coming out of that CC with the baby drag as well. Just going to slow the queen down. It's not too much trouble with the baby dragon, the CC and headhunters. As long as we've got the poison locked and loaded. There go the quakes and the zaps with the stone, uh, with the scatter shot behind the town hall. Queen pushes south towards that town hall compartment. She should venture straight in there. That rage spell over the top of her. She does step outside. She is checking back. She's just teasing us. She's zigzagging in and out. She should lock on to this town hall. She does. So, job done for the Queen. Town hall. And then comes the hybrid. In straight away there. We've used the blimp bomb. So no siege barracks. Hybrid coming in at 1 o'clock. The heel spell into that 12 o'clock compartment. The King's ability is fired. He's taking care of everything outside. Keeping those troops nicely inside the base. The Queen is pushing south. He's quite low on health there. She has used her ability now. She's going to go down to this whiz tower at 6 o'clock. And that hybrid is pushing south nicely. There goes the warden ability. Just as that enemy king is starting to cause grief here. That headhunter should be enough to finish off that enemy king with those miners wrapping around it. The queen has gone down at 6 o'clock. That scatter shot is tearing into these miners now. 
There are a lot of them there, but that scatter shot is eating into them. They do split towards the expo. Could be their downfall. Scatter shot locked onto the warden. They're not going to be enough in there to get to that scatter shot, unfortunately. That is a nice try from Messi. Two stars, 80%. 1am. 1am for Rene. Where's Rene from then? Are you from Europe somewhere, Rene? Five all, guys. Yeah, Rene, you're right, it sounds French. Reminds me of a programme you might not know. UK is Allo Allo. They had someone in there called oh, Rene. There you go, that is my French. Little bit of French, only a tiny bit, guys. Not enough to boast about. Have you had a brewski yet, Count? Then police captain in Grimm was Rene. Ah, so there's a lot of famous Renes. And there was singers as well, Rene and Ronaldo. Probably before your time count, but if you Google it, you will find a song called Saving All Your Mar Saving All Your Love, I think it was called. And here we go. Pablo. Had a few Stella Artois. Very nice. Very nice. I am jealous. There we go. We've got a Yeti stepping in at two o'clock with a whiz behind it. Just working this three o'clock corner. We've got 17 miners and 10 hogs in this hybrid. Queen steps in at 1.30 with a Coco Loon over the top. No healers applied yet. And there go the healers. Queen halfway up health. That scatter shot is eating into her health. But she's going to hang in there. She's starting to move towards that 12 o'clock compartment. In comes the king. In fact, one more blow from that scatter shot. Without that rage, it's going to be enough to take that queen ability. And there it goes. And now the scatter shot is targeting those um, healers. And we put a freeze over that scatter shot. The queen does check in there. We're going to have to put another freeze over that single inferno. King's pulled the CC. And the siege barracks is dropped at nine o'clock. The queen carries on the walk. She does take care of that scatter shot that gave her a lot of grief. Poison comes over the CC and the hybrid starts in at nine and ten o'clock. Straight path to the town hall here. So the queen's tackling the enemy queen in the core. She's in trouble and she does go down. The warden ability's fired. The hogs coming out of the siege barracks. They're taking care of the defences on the edge. That Lava Hound has proven a distraction, really. Um, Raw Champ is going to pop it. And out come those Lava Pups, which are more of a problem. Hogs working over that single Inferno. The Rage Spell coming down there. There's giant bombs in there doing damage to those Hogs. The Miners have split back to take the CC. Everything now pushing down to this Heal Spell down at 6 o'clock, where that Scatter Shot sits and waits. Raw Champ's ability is forced. He's going to go down to that multi inferno. And the miners push up towards the eagle, bizarrely. And they go down in the core there with the Raw Champ. And we have just clean up troops here now for Pablo. So just that one Wiz Tower left down at uh, Wiz Tower. That one wizard left at six o'clock. He's Probably going to go down to this first Eagle Bomb before he gets that Builder Hut. And I got that wrong. He did get that Builder Hut. 77%. 77% from Chile. So that sees him back out in front. 7, 5. 51% to 36. What can the USA come back with here, guys? And Rene saying it is a French name. Rene is the female version of Rene. I'm the male one. I'm German though. Ah, there we go. There we go. So we got the Europe right with the time difference. 
for now on we only speak french with you yeah see my french is not very good but it's probably better than my german counting german but that's about it i'm german parents picked the name because they thought it sounds nice it's a good name good name um yeah so let's go back to my german we got eins zwei drei vier fünf sechs sieben acht neun zehn that's it it's ten. Oh, elf wolf is it uh we can get to 12. So i can get to town hall 12 in german but if you're a town hall 13 i'm in trouble i'm talented there we go we got agent 33 coming in on kirby he saved me from spare from my german and again we've got mass witches but we've got five ice golems in this one and those zaps coming in we've got eight zaps again and two quakes town hall is going to be activated but look at the value with those scatter shots and expos there's not much left around that town hall apart from the cc and the eagle good value and uh, count saying boss gets gets me pretty far in german streams yeah i would probably say Ina beer uh would probably get me quite far in germany or Ina bratwurst or something like that um i i could eat and drink a beer so i would be able to survive but in come these witches and ice golems there goes the blimp bomb over the top there's going to be no scatter shots to stop that blimp bomb there goes the warden ability and the blimp will fire straight to the town hall the cc is pulled goblins two headhunters and the lava hound come out of there as the queen and the witches move left left that's right the king and the royal champion move right left and right i'm upside down i'm in australia there we go so the queen's going up one side the royal champ's going up the other side you get the picture there's witches going everywhere there's skellies everywhere the enemy queen is trying her hardest to try and pin off these skellies as they move up north royal champ's ability is fired around 12 o'clock she's tackling the enemy king she's probably going to be in trouble there she does go down to the enemy king and look at those skellies sweeping north around three o'clock locking onto that inferno the witches should get that single inferno down here there's four witches on the outside there's four witches on the inside all moving up around three o'clock here there's skellies sweeping around 12 o'clock and there goes the queen ability the enemy king will go down quickly here there is loads of time left on the clock here so agent 33 get ready to block your ears before this one comes up guys this is gonna be a triple with the mass witches again team usa halloween spectacular with these witches guys here we go three two one boom 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 eight seven team usa go out in front again oh speaking of beer oh no oh we died elf wolf dreizen wirzen wumzen yes thank you i would have i did do german in school as well that was a long um jawohl yes everyone's speaking german look at us guys Oh, and speaking of beer, Rene, don't because I haven't got one. I'm on water midnight and I'm drinking water on a Friday night. We'll have a drink after the stream, though. Oktoberfest cancelled this. Who's not? No, I'm not an Aussie. Who's an Aussie? Count's not an Aussie either. He's from um, Norway. Here we go. Villa, you see. Billy number four against Lex number five from Team USA. I am a Brit, you're right with that one, Rene. And in comes the Queen at two o'clock. The hog stepping in there. Trying to pull that CT. But it doesn't pull the CT, it doesn't quite make it past that um air defence at three o'clock. That Wiz is doing dirty work there trying to clear the trash outside at three o'clock the loon comes over the top as that loon comes over the queen does check back the other way she pulls the cc 
Now, is she going to check in with that CC pull? The king does come in with a super wall break. There goes the poison. That super wall break is enough to... I don't think, actually. Am I watching a different war? I don't think the king came in there at all, did he? He didn't. But the queen did check in. There's the super wall break. Into that town hall compartment. The queen does take the town hall down. She's low on health here. There goes her ability. She's going to walk towards the CC. She'll take the CC down here. And in comes the hybrid. In from 4 o'clock. Siege barracks has dropped at 7 o'clock. The king is walking up towards the 8 o'clock side. The heels fell into the core. And the king takes that scatter shot down. And now this hybrid pushing up into the core. There goes the warden tone. There's a tornado trap just south of the eagle. There was miners locking onto that eagle, but they've been distracted by skellies and that tornado trap. The rest of the hybrid is pushing north into that second heel spell there. The eagle's still standing here, but the hogs coming out of the siege barracks. Can they be the saviour? No, they work towards... They work towards that scatter shot, but that last couple of remaining miners and that headhunter did get to the eagle. The king's still beating on the wall there. He's not much help. The queen's still working at 12 o'clock. The king has broken through. He's going to take this whiz tower down. We've got 40 seconds left here. Now, this scatter shot is the problem for the king. Otherwise, there wouldn't be too many defences. But I think there's just too much standing for the queen to sweep through here. Although the warden is helping her. We're going to get into the high 80s. There's a valiant effort from Villa UC here. It's not going to be a triple. We possibly are going to break into the 90s here. I think we are. I think the 80s was a good decade. But the 90s is better for his score. And it's going to be 92, 93, 92. Very nice try. Billy UC. So, Billy are one star ahead and one attack ahead. So, failing a one star from USA, which no one would like to predict. Uh, I think this is going to be USA's chance to leap out in front again. We're assuming, me and Count are assuming, that Lexnos is going to take the anchor role here. So it, we're assuming that JD9 will be coming in here for this attack. We don't know, though. We don't know the lineup. Uh, I'd imagine so, Count. Not from... uh, that's because I said something about Aussies because I was upside down. I was saying it was like 3 o'clock and said it, and it was 6 o'clock. That's what I was saying that for. No, you didn't miss her anything. I did mention Aussie in the commentary, Renee. Um, but no, I am a Brit. And Scotty, welcome in, Scotty. Scotty with his green badge on there. Welcome in, Scotty. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Renee says he's somewhat drunk. He just heard me say something about Aussies. I'm jealous. All you guys are on the beer, and I'm not. Well, enjoy them anyway. Here we go. We got it wrong. It is Lexnos coming in. Now, did we get the attack right? Yes, we did get the attack right. It is a Queen Charge Lalo. Lex is probably favoured attack here. If you catch him on stream, he often uses Queen Charge Lalo. It's the attack he's been doing right from Town Hall 9. It is his favourite attack. He does like a hybrid as well, so you're never too sure. But that queen is working in from 12 o'clock. She targets the enemy king. The headhunter is in there as well. Queen takes care of the king. And then more Coco Loons coming over the top there. As the king steps in at 2 o'clock, the super wall break comes in between them both. Opening up those two compartments there. Nice job. So the queen's got access to the eagle and that scatter shot. King's working hard. Another super wall break coming in there. Breaks through that gap and opens up, unfortunately, just that channel in front of that expo. But the king will get to it, so that's good value. The eagle goes down. The scatter shot's going to go down here. And the queen, with that... Look at these super wall breaks coming in. 
This is OP wall breaking from Lex here. The Queen gets more value with that second scatter shot, and that further super wall break gives her the core. That freeze coming over the enemy Queen, and that single inferno. And you can tell by the way I'm starting to speak fast now. This is huge value from this Queen charge. Look at it. 42% gone from this base. The Royal Champion is in there as well. Now she does go down. But the Queen has almost done it on her own. With the King and those Super Wall Breakers. There's the CC. There's the Poison. Single Inferno. We've still got two free spells spells here. Spare, spare spells. There goes the Queen's ability though. Poison is dealing with those Lava Pups. In comes the Lalo. With the Warden and the Stone Slammer. Lalo sweeping in from 3 o'clock. The Stone Slammer comes in at 5. The loons are wrapping around the edge of this base. There goes the freeze over the Town Hall. The Stone Slammer, was it popped up quickly or did it go down? Went down very early there, that Stone Slammer. I missed how it went down. And there goes the Warden ability. Loons engulfing the Town Hall. It does take a while to go down. Still got the two single infernos to worry about. The queen has gone down in the core after her monumental charge. But these loons are depleting fast in the middle. And we are out of loons. So we've got a dragon. We've got minions. We've got the warden up. We've got a single inferno and an air defense now eating into these minions. So with that massive value queen charge here from Lex not going to be a triple unfortunately i don't know why that stone i missed why that stone slammer just pops so quick i think we were hoping that would stay up a lot longer warden with that new musket finishes off here with 86 percent two start does see them back out in front though so that's a very nice try Didn't you, you bargained for it the other day, Scotty? I'm just catching up with chat again now. Scotty says, how come I've got this badge? That's the moderator badge, Scotty. You bargained for it the other day and asked for it. If you don't want it, I can put you back to VIP. That's not a problem. And then Rene saying the drinking age is 16. Wow. Wow, oh, that is quite low. Not bad, though, for anyone 16. Uh, how could you have possibly predicted that queen charge? Yeah. I think uh, that was an absolutely OP queen charge. I can't believe it's finished as quick as it did. And here we go, guys. Not watching this one. Sorry. I'm supposed to be watching USA's attack. And it is USA's attack. We're watching USA. Wolf's watching Chile. So this is JD9 finishing off for USA. There come those zaps in around that CC. And with those three quakes, the CC is going to go down here. And we've got another Lalo here. Just a Sui Lalo, this one, with the zap. So, all champ steps in. She'll, she'll take care of that single Inferno. Well, she doesn't. Wow. Look at that. That Royal Champ gets slaughtered as the free spell comes down. And this is going to be plan B, I think, here from JD9. Minions, the Ice Golem and the King and the Queen now coming in from 3 o'clock. I think we were hoping the Royal Champ would get that single Inferno, but didn't quite make it there. King's ability is fired. He's locked onto by that Inferno, and the single Inferno is eating into these Royals, and it does get the King down as well. The Queen is working up at 2 o'clock. The Barbarians have split down to the south. They're not going to be much distraction here. The Queen moves up towards this 2 o'clock side. She's going to check in there. Her ability is forced. She's now tackling the enemy King and that scatter shot. She's in trouble and she does go down there. So minions coming in. And we're just waiting to see where this Lalo is going to check in from now. Four o'clock is the start of this Lalo portion there. Up for six o'clock, all the way around six o'clock. The two uh, Lava Hounds are in. All the loons are sweeping in here. We've still got the Blimp, of course, that can take the Town Hall here. There goes the Warden ability. Single Inferno is going to go down at six o'clock. The enemy Queen sitting waiting behind that scatter shot. 
Sweeper is distracting those loons. They do reach that scatter shot. There goes the haste spell. Haste spell clears that compartment quickly. Trying to get away from the enemy queen here. In comes that blimp. Over the top of that single inferno. We've got to get to that town hall. We do get to that town hall. There goes the freeze. Town hall's going to go down here. The single inferno goes down. So plan B working there. Securing the two stars here. But the queen finished off those loons in the core. While that blimp was flying over. We've just got that dragon and those minions. And the minions on the outside. There's one loon left. That's going to go down. So we've got a couple of sneaky goblins just to get the percentage up here and we will down at the bottom we will get up into the 80 so we know that's going to be a two star let's dip in and see what's happening the other side we've got abracadabra abba, 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 and it is a very high two star and possibly more We've got that scatter shot up there can the water no we're out of time we are out of time there 93 percent What's it going to be, guys? It's 12-11. Chile just not quite getting to that triple. That triple, let's have a look at the destruction. That triple would have seen Chile advance through here. That is just on destruction there. That would have just been enough for them to edge it. They got so close, so close to that triple at the end with that 93%. But... Team USA doing enough. Who said 12-11? No one. There we go. Victory to USA advancing through. Advancing through.